Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today, I'm just going to be showing off a new drawing tablet that I got, which is the Wacom Cintiq 22HD. And this is actually the first tablet I've had, if you don't count the week prior to this, where I got a Wacom Intuos. Um, I decided to return that though, and purchase this. And I justified it because sometimes I am an impulsive buyer. I justified it though by uh, selling a bass guitar and also I'm going to be selling a, an 88 key MIDI controller. So, <laughs> and I also justified it by the idea that I am going to eventually be doing tutorials um, and courses using tablets uh, in Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. So, uh, basically, this uh, is a Wacom Cintiq and. There is uh, a bunch of what are called express keys on the right and the left. There's it's basically eight of them. And then this, this center button over here, if you can see it, uh, allows you to specify what this strip in the back will be, where you can use your finger. And so right now, let's, let me adjust this. So if I wanted to be able to scroll up, I could very easily scroll up and in and out of the document that way. Uh, and then it also allows you to do some other things. But if I come up here, it basically gives you an, uh, an overlay of information of everything that's going on uh, with your keys and what they're set to. So pretty cool. Uh, basically, the way you set it up, it was very easy. Uh, it just sets up, uh, it hooks up to the back of your computer and a monitor port and I, uh, or DVI. And I have two graphics cards, which are SLI. So I actually have four monitors if you include this, which essentially this is a monitor. And it looks just as good as uh, my other monitors as well. Uh, so when I got it, I, you know, I was a little skeptical about you know, whether or not you know, it would be much more superior uh, than an Intuos or a standard tablet, in which just you know, one that just lays on your desk and you, you draw on it, but you're not able to see your hand. Now you are able to use uh, to, if you hover away from your uh, the tablet that's on the desk, like with an Intuos or a Bamboo, you are able to see where your you know the, the cursor is at without touching. But the one thing that's missing is being able to see your hand. Uh, and so I found you know after having used an Intuos and then this came, uh, I found that being able to see your hand is much much better uh, than obviously not. So the, the pen sensitivity and the pressure is really, really good. It's, uh, it's 2048 uh, pressure level or essentially whatever that's called or, or referred to as. Um, and then here, to, I was experimenting initially here in Adobe Illustrator and I followed a few tutorials uh, and basically the one thing that it gives you uh, an advantage over just using your, your mouse for, uh, is for like illustration and uh, you know, doing uh, cartoon concepts or characters or anything with fluid lines uh, because it has that pressure, that pen sensitivity. So I'll be doing uh, courses or tutorials very soon here in, uh, for Adobe Illustrator. And then Adobe Photoshop, uh, that's an entirely different beast. And of course you still have the same uh, pen sensitivity and the pressure levels there, but you also have a lot more in terms of uh, brushes that you can experiment with. I uh, I have a ton here, as you can see. I downloaded a bunch, and I've just been experimenting. I uh, like if you want clouds, you can do so. Very cool, very fun stuff. And so, what I've been focusing on lately is uh, digital painting environments. And I have to say, it is difficult. It's one of those things. You know, you can you think you can. You know, you're already. I'm already very experienced in Photoshop. Uh, and you think maybe after watching a couple tutorials you'll be able to do it on your own. It's completely not the case. It kind of reminds me of when I went, uh, I was starting off doing web designs and that was well over like almost like 12, 13 years ago. And you're just not going to be able to do awesome designs after watching a couple tutorials. So I've been busting my ass trying to really learn uh, digital map painting and, and environment environment painting, uh, which I hope to eventually be able to get good enough to share with you guys through tutorials. And so, yeah, like this guy, this stuff is just absolutely awesome. This is this guy, uh, Andrew Wallen or, uh, or Andre, really awesome stuff. Uh, eventually I'd like to get to this skill level. 
But anyhow, I thought I would just share that as an update with you guys. Uh, and so eventually, uh, you're going to see uh, tutorials uh, with really awesome outcomes, hopefully, in terms of projects. And yeah, look out for a new video coming within a day or two with the designcourse.com design challenge 15. And I'm not exactly sure yet what that's going to be based on. Uh, you guys can leave some comments if you have ideas. Otherwise, I'll just come up with my own. All right. Uh, subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't yet. And check out designcourse.com. All right. Goodbye.